Hello, my name is Elisa Swider. I am the business owner of a CAPM certification. I have been managing CAPM for over five years. Today, I will give you an overview of CAPM. But before that, I want to show you what is happening in Africa and why project management will be a hard profession for the next decade or even longer in Africa. Many of you probably already know that Africa has the highest rate of population growth around the globe. The world population is projected to reach 8.5 billion in 2030 and to increase further to 9.7 billion in 2050. More than half of the global population growth between now and 2050 is expected to occur in Africa. Alongside this new demographic cohort, there is a new urban landscape on the rise. The UA predicts that the world's fastest growing cities are now in Africa. Africa is growing so quickly because of its increasingly large young population, the highest of any continent. Over 75% of its population is younger than 25 years old. So we're experiencing a significant population growth and urbanization. These trends, in turn, are driving massive investment in many industries in Africa. This also means that people who stand to benefit the most from all these developments are young. We have observed that these young managers are growing in film, music, technology, and infrastructure. We all know that Nigeria is home to Nollywood, the second largest movie industry in the world. They produce 2,500 films a year. The African music industry is also growing. The new African streaming platforms have emerged in recent years, attracting investment from music industry like Universal and Warner. Africa is also pulling in investment dollars from technology. A total of 311 Africa tech startups raised nearly $500 million last year. Last but not least, infrastructure. Despite recent economy development, only 38% of the African population have access to electricity. Three quarters of all roads are unpaved. In 2018, for the first time, Africa's commitment to infrastructure projects exists $100 billion. All of this makes the Africa ripe with career opportunity for young project professionals looking into play a role. This means that the people who stand to benefit the most from all these developments are you. It also means that responsibility for managing many of these projects will be a new generation of project managers, and that could be you. The market is ready, but are you ready? How to get your food in the door? How do you demonstrate your readiness to enter a career in project management? How do you let your employer know that you understand and be able to apply the most critical knowledge in this profession? CAPM certification can help to get there. By earning a CAPM credential, you demonstrate that you have an understanding of the fundamental knowledge, processes, and the terminology as defined in the PEMBA guide the Guide to Project Management Body of Knowledge. It allows you to bring critical knowledge and learnings to any industry, any organization, and any project. Additionally, PMI Pulse of Professional Market Research tells us that increasing standardization is a key to project success. Who can benefit from a CAPM certification? Those who do not have project experience, but are interested in project management, like students, college graduates, or those who want to change their career. They can benefit from CAPM by demonstrating their fundamental knowledge in project management. If you're an associate or junior project manager, but do not have three years leading and directing project experience, you are also a great candidate to earn a CAPM certification. The knowledge can be applied to on-the-job experience that help develop competencies in the, in the practice of project management. 
project team members who contribute their specialized skills to a project team can benefit from CAPM by aligning their work with the project managers. Now, I'd like to introduce two subject matter experts to share their experience with the CAPM certification and how the CAPM certification helped them to where they are today. Marcel is currently a student at the Marshall School of Business in USC. Before he came to US, he was a project manager in Cape Town, South Africa. Here is his story. Hi, I'm Marcel. I'm from South Africa, but I'm currently living in beautiful, sunny California, pursuing a master's degree at USC. I also just started a company which is still in stealth mode, but should be launching towards the end of the year or the beginning of next year. Before coming here, I was a product manager at various technology companies. This short bio is relevant because without a doubt, I wouldn't have been able to get those jobs, attend school in California or start my own company without the help of PMI. The network, the people, the universe that is offered to you through PMI by doing any of their certifications, in my case, the CAPM, is amazing and entirely worth the effort, the time and the money I spent pursuing my CAPM and future credentials. I can confidently say that I wouldn't be in California studying at a prestigious school or had the skills to create the product I'm busy creating at my own company or any of the companies I had worked for in the past if I had not done the CAPM and unlocked the amazing world of PMI and all of its incredible benefits. That is to say, that the CAPM credential allowed me to branch out into project management positions in small tech startup companies. And given that I already had some technical skills and other complementary skills, I was able to move into senior technical project management roles and also then product management roles down the line. Those product management roles then really taught me to think about a product almost as an individual company. Indeed, most companies start with just one minimally viable product and then evolve from there. So it's not hard to see how learning to build out projects and then products in existing companies taught me how to build out a discrete product for my own company and thus creates the company I'm working on today. That's all to say that project management skills are critical in many phases of work and even life. The CAPM credential was that baseline of understanding I needed to grow as a project manager and then a product manager and now as a CEO of a startup. If you're thinking of starting out as a project manager or just want to show that you have the skills if you're already in that position, then go for it. Do the CAPM. You will not regret it. I certainly do not. And I attribute much of my success to doing the CAPM credential. Good luck. Oliver is a director at a technology company in Johannesburg, South Africa. He has more than five years experience in managing a directing project. He is also a certified PMP. Let's hear his experience. Hi everybody, my name is Oliver Stutz and I'm a director and project manager at my own company here in Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to chat to all of you today about project management in general and of course about PMI, CAPM or CAPM certification as we like to call it. Everybody seems to have their own way of uh, pronouncing it. So a good couple of years ago now I was dealing with a lot of projects on a day-to-day -day basis but I didn't have any sort of formalized certification or qualifications behind me that were project management related. So one of the things that I started looking at was obviously PMI's various qualifications and certifications and the PMP obviously stood out quite a bit but at the time I didn't have the necessary experience to pursue the PMP. So I basically had two options. I could either pursue the CAPM, which didn't have as stringent sort of entry requirements, or I could wait and pursue the PMP. So I decided to uh, pursue the CAPM because at the time, as I said, I didn't have much experience, but especially in Africa, we tend to lean on our experience more than formalized processes. So to go ahead and pursue the CAPM, it really helped me in my day-to-day -day work and projects because I got to learn a lot of the skills that I still use today and I couple that with my experience to deal with all of my projects, my clients, and at the end of the day, everything that I do in my career and my day-to-day -day work. So it really helped me in my day-to-day -day work, but at the end of the day, it also helped me pursue the PMP. 
And what you'll find is that a lot of people wait around till they've got the necessary experience to pursue the PMP, but they might not achieve the certification the first time around because either they rely too heavily on the experience and not so much on the underlying foundations, or they just feel that even people that have 20 or 30 years of experience can rely purely on that experience. And what I've found is that the, the skills that I learned through pursuing the CAPM really helped me in those years post that because I was actually able to apply those skills on a day-to-day -day basis. And come the time of writing the PMP, I was a lot more experienced, I was a lot more in tune with what PMI sort of approach is in terms of projects in general. And that's where I feel like it really helped me get a lot further. In terms of people in Africa wanting to pursue project management, it might not be that your title is project manager or that you're wanting to attain a title of project manager, but even in other positions, project management is a very big part in a lot of our day-to-day -day work. And the nice thing about Africa is that we are quite far behind the rest of the world. And I say it's a nice thing because we can look towards the rest of the world and see how they've achieved things and hopefully improve on that. And where project management comes into that and PMI specifically is that you can formalize those processes through something like the CAPM and later on in the PMP once you've got that experience to then actually drive you to that next level and successfully complete projects, do better in your projects and how you deal with them and hopefully at the end of the day uh, create a, an all-round better career for yourself which is exactly what the CAPM and PMP has done for me. Um, in terms of tips for studying for the CAPM, I must say it wasn't the most difficult certification to attain but the knowledge that I was lacking and that I had to learn and make up for was a bit of a challenge. So to try and achieve your CAPM in a very short period, it might be possible, but I definitely make sure that you're spending a good couple of months going through everything, especially if you're working at the same time, so that you can onboard all of that knowledge on a day-to-day -day basis and consistently. To just take aside two weeks or a month or whatever it may be, depending on who you are, to try and achieve the certification is not the best way. I definitely try and deal with it day to day, spend a lot of time with it and at the same time it gives you the opportunity to start implementing those processes, procedures and all sorts of knowledge that you've learned through that studying and obviously eventually acquiring the CAPM. So if you're interested in anything like this, anything project management related or anything that is project management related within your work, I would definitely say pursuing the CAPM is a great start because it does give you that initial foot in the door it is recognized worldwide and it's, it's kind of showing your commitment to project management and at the same time showing that you have a certain level of knowledge within project management so that you can complete projects successfully or assist more experienced project managers or other colleagues to achieve their projects and at the same time obviously gain more experience to hopefully write your PMP at the end of the day. So thanks for the time. I know it's been a really sort of short snippet and insight into my career path, especially on the project management side. Um, but as I said, there are really exciting things to pursue in project management and the CAPM and PMP will definitely help you get there. So I hope to see you pursuing that at some point in the future, hopefully very soon and exceeding with that and obviously taking whatever I've told you in my experience and knowledge and doing even better than I've done hopefully as well. Good luck. They will attend at our live Q&A session after the presentation. I hope their stories will give you motivation to pursue CAPM. So how to apply for CAPM certification? First, you need to have a high school diploma or global equivalent. Then you will need to have 23 education hours in project management. Meet these two requirements. You can go to PMI website to fill the CAPM application online and pay for the exam fee. $225 for PMI members and $300 for non-member. Then you schedule your exam at your preferred day and the time. The exam can be taken on a testing center or through an online proctor. I hope everyone will pass the exam. Your CAPM certification will be good for three years and you can maintain it by earning 15 PDUs every three years. PDU stands for Professional Development Unit. This is new and will go effective on October 1st this year. When you are ready to move to the next step, CAPM certification holder can earn credit towards eligibility for the PMP exam. The 35 hours of education requirement for PMP exam is waived. 
how to prepare for the CAPM exam. The CAPM exam is solely based on the PEMBA guide, so the book will be your best friend when you prepare for the exam. You can also use the exam content outline, which is the structure of the exam. It tells you what a percentage of the exam is being dedicated to each chapter in a PEMBA guide. Exam content outline can be used to help you decide what you need to focus on when you study for the exam. You can download it from the CAPM product page on PMI website. You can check if your local chapter has a study group or search on LinkedIn. I believe there is a group called Passionate CAPM Exam Prep Study Group on the LinkedIn that you can request to join. Or you can look for a PMI registered education provider to join a prep course they offer. The IEP program is actually being retired at the end of this year. The ATP program is taking its place and it can provide training for the CAPM exam as well. CAPM exam is translated into 13 languages, including French, German, Portuguese, and Spanish. According to the 2019 CAPM Satisfaction Survey, 88% of the CAPM certification holders would recommend CAPM to others. 92% agreed that the overall level of difficulty of the exam was appropriate for assessing basic competence of project management. And 87% agreed that the CAPM exam is a valid measurement of project management knowledge that are needed to perform in a project environment. Thank you for your time. Now we are open to the Q&A.